Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to It's Just Plastic with your boy Hound. That's right. All right. So we got another one. You've seen the thumbnail. You know who I'm reviewing. That's right. I got the retro boom Spider-Man 2099. Aha. Oh, man. Beautiful figure. I cannot wait to compare this one against the old school Marvel Legend one because I got him. I say old school, it's not really old school. It's only like, I don't know, 10 years old? Not even. That's not old school. I'm, but I'm ancient. Uh, but anyways, um, I really like the card back of this uh, classic Spider-Man. The retro Spider-Man figures are absolutely gorgeous with the card back. Man, I almost want to buy every one of them on the card back and on the big. Uh, you know, and, uh, and get them out of there. Blah, 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 blah. But you know what? finances will not allow me to do that so here we are <laughs> let's go ahead and look at the back of the card probably need to show y'all an up close of the figure huh what do you think there you go there's the back of the card boom we'll go out and then we'll go in oh it shows interchangeable hands <gasps> we've never seen that before no i'm just kidding <laughs> yeah if y'all don't know anything about this one this is uh miguel o'hara it does kind of tell you something. That's what I was kind of showing you. There's the barcode. Miguel O'Hara takes over for Spider-Man in the future. Obviously, that's why it's called Spider-Man 2099. If you need to know more than that, I'm not your resource. I know this stuff, but you're here to see the figure, not hear the story of Spider-Man. I get a lot of comments about, hey, how come we didn't tell us more about it? Because there's a thing such as Wikipedia and Marvel and another hundred other YouTubers that do that kind of stuff. I like that stuff, but I'm here for this, not that. So, hey. <laughs> All right. Here you go. There's a close-up. I kind of wish, you know what? I'm not really um, I'm not really into uh, faceless fi or maskless figures, but how about a time where we get a Miguel O'Hara uh, maskless figure? Like, you know, you know, I don't think there's ever been one in my opinion. That would be kind of cool to get that. Um, you know, that I mean that's something that would be different that we haven't had. Instead of making the same figure just with a new body mold, like well, newish body mold, newer than that one. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and open him up, and then we're gonna go check him out under the big big lights. Got over here with the big lights, checking him out underneath uh, some little more lightage, obviously. So looks really good. I like the I like the way the figure looks. Um, you know, one of the things that I was looking at was the claws and everything else. That's really cool. That's something I think the old figure didn't have. We will be looking at that figure. Oh my gosh. So, um, yeah, we're just going to look at everything. I really like the claws. That's really cool. Um, the paint on this one is kind of a darker paint and not so metallic. It kind of has a uh, shiny metallic or not shiny like a, um, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Uh, I'll show the other one here in a second. Let's just go ahead and go over this one. And uh, I'm trying to think, trying to compare both of them and i, I y'all are not interested in that one at that moment at this moment y'all want to you know get over this one right <laughs> um you know his face looks really clean you know that looks really good um paint looks really good the paint app is really really nice um you know it comes with uh let's go ahead and go over his accessories that's what i should have done first it comes with, uh, I'm still trying to get used to this. It's throwing me off this uh, platform, this this uh, way we're doing this, or the way I'm doing this. Got the flat hands, or the webbed out hands, how you want to call that. Uh, the wall sticker hands. And then he's got fists. So these hands have no claws. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, and then he's got the... Uh, what do you want to call it? The, his cape, I guess you could call it. His web cape. I don't really like this. Um, you know, it is very true to the character, but it's definitely not my favorite aspect of the character. It looks good on him, but just kind of looks kind of funky. Um, let's go ahead and go over. I mean, there's the back of him and everything. He looks really good. I mean, he just looks nice. Like, 
I really dig this figure. Look, he's even got the bends. Look at that. Psh, psh. Let's go, before we go articulation, let's go ahead and check him out versus the old school one. I want to take the... First thing I want to make, I want to get y'all to look at is the capes. So, this is the new one. This is the old one. So, you can kind of see there's a big difference of... Uh, this one's clear. It's a little bigger, in my opinion, the newer one. Not much, though. <laughs> look at that. They gave us the same cape. That cape is identical. They just used... I mean, that cape is identical. They just used a clearer um, plastic to make the newer one versus the old one. So, I mean, it's got the same holes. You can line it up. It is an identical to that one look at that see there's no no difference <laughs> besides the besides just the color so there you go there's the two together man this one is the old one this is the old one this is the new one it's just so flimsy i don't know if everybody else is as flimsy like that but see how shiny this is see how shiny the blue is this one's kind of a duller uh metallic it's kind of i don't know how to explain that Kind of like a gloss metallic, I guess. Uh, I mean, really, in reality, they're almost the same exact figure. And the hands are a little different on this one. It's just kind of like an updated paint job. The arm little fins here are the same. There's the paint. See, I mean, there's not a lot of difference. You can tell the chest... Uh, paint is different This one's much bigger than this one The face is pretty much the same there's not a lot of difference in the face If this one was tighter, I probably just keep this one I'm gonna keep them both. I like them both. I think there's enough variance, you know for me i'm gonna keep them both I, i'm a big spidey guy so i'm digging this look see both of them have the back here this has got to be the same body buck i mean it's got to be the same thing there's no there's hardly any difference let's stand them up and see what uh see that one's that one just does not stand very well at all neither one of, I, I mean i gotta mess with this this one's so stiff, like, wow. Let's go ahead and turn them around so I can just lean them against the sign here. Let's see if we can get them as close as possible. I know they're not the best poses. I'm just trying to get them up there so you can kind of see. Yeah, they're, I mean, that's identical. They're, they're, these are the same exact figure, just with different paint jobs. One's got a lighter blue with less, with more of a, a, a shimmer, and one's got a... The older one's got a bigger symbol on the chest with a shinier blue. That's it. That's what you that's what I just paid for. I paid for a newer, stiffer body with a couple extra accessories and, and a paint job. Oh, Hasbro, you're killing me. Why y'all do this to us? Same crap, just with a different paint job. Come on, man. Alright. Not like y'all don't already know, but we're going to go over the uh, articulation. Let's see here. Wow. Down is really good. Up's really good. That's fantastic. 360, you know that. There ain't nothing in the way. Let's see here. You got that nice shoulder or chest uh, rotation right there with that. I mean, that's good. Uh, let's see shoulder biceps up man i'm telling you right now this figure is stiff oh so you get that and let's see up good that way got a bicep swivel got the double jointed pin elbows of course because it's an old buck we got the wrists in and this way both of them uh ab crunch not much of a oh there's the back i told you it's tight Whew. let's go forward more back than forward <laughs> but there's all this clearance why can't i uh anyways um 
I should have heated this guy up before I started this. Okay, he does have a waist swivel. Mine is just super tight. Look, it's the same figure. I'll show you on the old one. See? <laughs> I'm going to have to heat him up. I don't want to crack him. Uh, legs are, you know, side to side. One thing I noticed is this leg does not line up right. No matter how you twist it, it doesn't look great. See, you can see that right there. It, no matter how you line it up, it's got a. It just it just doesn't look right. There's a there's a big gap somewhere in this in the let's see right leg. So, yeah, I'm not a not a big fan of that. I think they messed that leg up, but you know hey. Nothing you can do. Double jointed pin knees and the typical ankles swivel to the side. There you go. So that one's it for this one. Let's see. Let's take his hands off. Let's see what he looks like with the regular hands. Boop. See if I still like it with the... I like the claw hands. I think that's, a, that's another updated feature is the extra hands and the claw hands. The old one just has kind of a, you know, regular, regular hands. So I like the claw hands. They're not really claws, but I, mean, I guess they kind of are. But anyways, yeah, he still looks good like that. I'm trying to get him to stand. I mean, I... That right leg is a travesty. Like, look at that. Look, it does not line up at all. Like, if everybody else has got one like that, let me know. Hopefully, I'm not the only one that has a crappy busted leg one. Here, yeah, we'll put the other one in here, too. All right, there they are. Look at how both of them look awesome. I'm in love with these figures. I love Miguel O'Hara. I love Spider-Man 2099. I think it's a fantastic uh, character. Miguel O'Hara is awesome, awesome, awesome. I hope we actually get to see this on the big screen MCU, hopefully one day. Man, that would be amazing to get this all to come to life. But uh, as far as this figure goes, if you got the old one, I don't really know why you would have to buy this one. Unless you're just a huge Spider-Man fan, this is not really a necessary figure. Uh, it, you know, unless you just needed to get a, a get one, like if you didn't have the old one and you needed the newer one, or just, you know, to get one, you bought the newer one, I understand that. But if you could get the older one, uh, in my opinion, if you can get one with a stiffer body than the one I have, it's by far a superior figure than the newer one now i know i always have some different opinions than the rest of the people on youtube but you know what this is why i'm here this is my opinions if you guys like them great if you don't you know i get that too so <laughs> all right that's it for today's video i appreciate you guys stopping by and watching man Spider-Man 29 is just a beautiful figure. I cannot stop talking about it. I just hate that his right leg is so jacked up. Maybe it's just mine. Y'all let me know down in the comments or hit me up on Instagram if that right leg is just my figure. If it is, I might be on the hunt for a different one and sell that one because I that leg is driving me bonkers. All right, you guys. Oh, hit hit the like, hit the subscribe. I'm so bad about saying that. Uh, hit me up on Instagram if you want to. Link is down in the description. I hope you guys are liking the new format, the, the uh, way I've changed things. I'm going to keep working on it, keep changing things up, uh, keep dialing in. If you got any suggestions, any comments, hit me up. I appreciate anything any, any of uh, anybody that watches my video says. Uh, I try to take it to heart. So uh, it might take me a little bit to kick it in, but I try to kick it in and try to fix it as much as I can. All right, you guys take care. Have a good one, and remember plastic.